Welcome to Mathematics with Ams, grade 12, summing of a geometric series. Don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe. Summing the terms of a geometric series. So a geometric series is a sum of a geometric sequence, 3, 6, 12, 24, and is a geometric sequence that is a sum of that sequence 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 plus plus plus. It is geometric because there's a common ratio. 6 divided by 3 is 2, 12 divided by 6 is 2, 12 divided, 24 divided by 12 is 2. So there's a common ratio of 2. So therefore we can use the formula given for a geometric series. There are two formulas. The one formula on the left hand side is when R is not, a, of course, R is not a one in both, but the first formula you normally use if R is greater than one, and the second one if R is a fraction. So those are the two, but both examples, both formulas should work all the time. So let's look at the example. Evaluate the series sum to six terms. So it's 4 plus 12 plus 36 plus 108 plus 324 plus 972. They give you six terms. So if we write it down and call it A, and we reverse it again like the previous examples, reverse the sequence, and then we subtract. So it's A minus B. So it's, it's a, it's a, it's a, the, 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 Equation A minus equation B. If we subtract them, then we get sum to six terms minus three times sine to six terms, which is minus two sum to six terms. Then, of course, four minus nothing is four. Twelve and twelve cancel, the six cancel. So all of them cancel except the two nine two nine one six, which becomes negative two nine one six. Because remember, it is a subtractor. Then, of course, simplify 4 minus 2916 if you minus 2912. Divide both sides by negative 2, and the answer is 1456. Now, the above method can be used to derive the formula for the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series sequence. Right, so let's look at the proof of the formula, again, remember you don't have to know the proof, but it's always good to know where the formula is coming from. We call it theorem 2. So the sum of the first n terms of a geometric sequence is given by the formula sum to n terms a into r to the power n minus 1 over r minus n, where r is not a 1, of course, because division by 0 is not allowed, or a 1 minus r to the power n over 1 minus r, Again, where R is not one. Both formulas are the same and both should work. So let's first, so let the first term of a finite geometric series be denoted by A and let R denote the constant ratio. So sum to n terms is therefore A plus AR plus AR squared plus AR cubed plus 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 AR to the power n minus one. We remember this and we call it equation A. Then we multiply equation A by R. So you multiply all the left hand side and the right hand side multiply by R. Then we say, and we call it B. Then we say A minus B. If we subtract A minus B, then we get sum to n terms minus R sum to n terms is equal to A. And then all the other terms will cancel. And the last one, A R to the power n becomes negative A R to the power n. Then we take out sum to n terms is a common factor on the left hand side, and we left with 1 minus r, and then of course we divide both sides. Of course, the, on the right hand side, we take out a as a common factor, and we get 1 minus r to the power n. Then we divide both sides by 1 minus r, and that's how we get a formula. And of course, similarly, by subtracting sum to n terms from r sum to n terms, we will get the second formula. In other words, instead of saying a minus b, we say b minus a, and then we get the second formula. Let's look at the first example. Find the sum of the first 12 terms of the series, 2 thirds plus 2 plus 6 plus plus plus. So this is a infinite series. Right? So remember that. So it is geometric because the, the common ratio 2 divided by 2 thirds and 6 divided by 2 in both cases we get R equals to 
3. So we can choose any of the two formulas should work, but we prefer the first one because R is a whole number. So replace A with 2 thirds, of course replace R with 3, and then use your calculator and get your answer of 177147,6 recurring. Let's look at another example. Calculate the sum of the following finite series. 0, 0,25 plus 0, 0,5 plus 1 plus 2 plus 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 and then the last term is given as 256. Now this is geometric because the common ratio is 2. Remember the second term divided by the first term. So write down the formula for the general term because remember I must find n. So Tn is 256 then you get A is 0, 0,25 and of course R is 2. Right, then simplify, divide both sides by 0, 0,25. Simplify, and at this stage, we either use logs or we can use exponential laws. Like 1 out to 4 is 2 to the power 10. So therefore, the exponents are equal. So 10 equals to n minus 1. So therefore, n equals to e, 11. Then we can use either of the two formulas. Doesn't matter which one. Let's use both so I can show you the answers are the same. Then do your substitutions, use your calculator, and you'll get the answer 511,75. Right, let's look at the following one with sigma. So the bottom term is 0, and the last term is 19, and the common general term is 3 times negative 2 to the power i minus 1. So let's first expand to get at least the first three terms and the last term. So for my i is 0, then i is a 1, then i is a 2, and then i is a 19, then you get the answer, the values, minus 3 over 2, plus 3, minus 6, and then 7, 8, 6, 4, 3, 2. So this is geometric because r is negative 2, then of course do your substitution now. Remember the sum is given, right? And of course a is minus 3 over 2, and of course r to the power n, r is negative, 20, negative 2, n is 20. That's because we got it from our top uh, calculations, n is 20. Right, so therefore, use your calculator, it is the quickest and easiest way to get the answer. So 524287,5. But remember, you have to find n first. So n is top, remember it's top minus bottom plus 1. So it's 19 minus 0 plus 1, which is 20. Don't forget that. How many terms of the geometric sequence, negative 1, 2, minus 4, 8, will add up to 3, 4, 9, 5, 2, 5? So the sum is given. Take note. But is it, is, it a, is, it, is it geometric? Yes, there is a common ratio of negative 2. So therefore, you, you can choose any of the two formulas, doesn't matter. So sum to n terms is 3, 4, 9, 5, 2, 5. A is minus 1. R is negative 2. Then use your calculator to simplify as far as possible. Then you can multiply by negative 3 or you can cross multiply. Then you get, uh, take 1 over. Use your calculator, please. And then you get, you can either use, again, use uh, logs or you can use the exponential laws like 1048576 is 2 to the power 20. So both bases are the same. So therefore, n equals to 20. Right, next example, sigma or sum. So the bottom number is k equals to 2 and the top one is m and you must find the value of m and the common term is 1 over 15 times 3 to the power k minus 1 equals to 24 in the fifth. So now the sum is given. Don't forget. So therefore, first expand starting with k2, do the first three terms and, and then get the last term as well. And then simplify, and you'll get 0, 0,2, 0, 0,6, 1,8, etc., etc. And that will give you a common ratio of 3 if you divide term 2 by term 1. 
right? Then next is to do to choose the, the sum formula. So do your substitution, right? 24 on a fifth. Of course, remember a is 0, 2, r is 3. Do your simplification, use your calculator, cross multiply, and you'll end up with uh, 243 equals 3 to the power m minus 1. You can either use logs at this stage, or you can say 243 is 3 to the power 5. So therefore, the exponents are equal. So therefore, m equals to 6. It is advisable for you to work through this exercise because you need to practice, practice, practice. Good luck. Right, here's the solution to the exercise. So please, like I said, do the exercises and then check whether your answers are the same. Good luck. Right, this was Mathematics with M's. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give me a huge like and subscribe.